So now we're going to move on to inclined planes. Um, when we were working on the house earlier, that's the A-frame roof is actually uh, an inclined plane. It's just the way we were approaching the the roof line. Um, it didn't really it didn't really matter, um, you know, like where the horizon line was and the additional horizon lines because we were approaching it from a different way. Now, if we were looking at a at a ramp or something like that, um, we'd actually have to use inclined planes. So um, when you do an inclined plane, you actually need uh, your normal horizon line and then a second horizon line uh, for the for the incline, right? So we're gonna pick a couple of, uh, of vanishing points, different ones, uh, and we're gonna draw planes sort of just like right down in front, down from them, more or less evenly in single point perspective. So here we're going to have one plane. And I'm going to draw this plane kind of next to it. All right. So we're going to start them at the same sort of level and finish them at the same sort of level. So this seems to be receding away faster. This seems to be receding a little slower, so it's actually because it's actually tilted up. And this is a this is a simple thing. If you want the if the inclined plane, you know, say this is your original plane that you want to draw, and your plane the other plane you want to draw this one is inclined, all you have to do is move the horizon line up to a place that makes it look um, look approximately as it should. Um, if it's receding downward you know, uh, the plane's going going uh, like a down ramp kind of thing, then all you do is you move the horizon line down below and uh, you, you, uh, you'll you stay on, uh, on track with that. Um, and it's pretty simple. Another way to think about it is, um, let's say you're looking at a sidewalk that turns into a ramp and you're working in one point perspective, right? Your vanishing points are actually gonna stay on the same perpendicular. So your vanishing point would be here, theoretically. Um, so I'd go from the horizon line to this point, and then draw my sidewalk from there. Right, so here you can see the plane going that way, boom, tilting up. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty simple method, but um, it'll yield you some really complex results and uh, and you'll get into a lot of situations where deciding where how high this vanishing this this second vanishing point second horizon line is or how low uh, is really really difficult um, so play around with uh, multiple horizon lines and remember this little trick of keeping vanishing points right above and below each other um, and that'll keep you out of a lot of troubles when you're dealing with inclined planes.